In this video, we're going to be reviewing a nice uh, beer product here, Molson Triple X. I know that's uh, that's that's right. That might sound like in bad taste, anyway. Like three X's. But it says uh, super premium beer, no preserves, and it's like a 24 ounce uh, can right here. This is one thing that makes it interesting. 7.3% alcohol by volume. They call it super premium beer. It says Triple X by Molson is a unique beer that delivers a full flavored drinking experience with a cold, crisp, and clean taste. Our passion for quality beer began back in 1756 when John Molson offered his first brew in Montreal and continues to this day. For this reason, we believe Triple X by Molson will quickly become your favorite super premium beer. Yeah, it has that right there. On here, it's like got uh, it says right here. This is ale in Texas. I know what that means. And you got the barcode, some recycling logo. This one here was like made domestically in my country. It says Uni made product of the U.S. It has a. It says you're brewed and packaged under supervision of Molson Coors Canada, Toronto Canada by Molson USA, Golden Colorado, and yeah, the standard issue government warning, which tries to discourage, uh, which try, which tries to uh, prevent, which tries to say tell pregnant women not to drink anything with alcohol, in it, which I do, which I do agree with. They say any woman who. Uh, Says any woman, any pregnant woman who uh, says any woman is pregnant who uh, drinks uh, any type of alcoholic beverage, is, is, is an a asking for trouble and b is really fucked in the head. And Molson is basically a well-known brand, well-known in Canada. Now we pretty much got, pretty much uh, put through. Uh, we pretty much, uh, we pretty much already went through this here anyway. Now what we gotta do now is uh the taste. And here's a little disclaimer here. When when you buy alcoholic beverages, make sure that you're not uh so that make sure you're not completely make sure you're not completely intoxicated when you buy alcoholic beverages. Because because one that can that could that could say that you could be asking for trouble, but also the reta but also it could make the retailer that uh, sold you the beverage. If you're in such a state, so they could it could put it could put them in, uh, in risk of uh, a potential say of facing they could be, they could be put they could they could end up they could find themselves asking for ser they could be asking for serious trouble. And another and another uh, disclaimer here. When you drink alcohol beverages, do not get behind the wheel. Because drinking and driving is is, is not only against the law. Well, but say, but you could potentially put lives. You could definitely endanger people in the, as well. And it's also it's also punishable by. Uh, but it's also punishable by by say by say extreme fines, imprisonment, loss of license, and you don't want that. Now on with the taste. Hmm. Looks like a uh, looks like a typical beer. I saw. Uh, Just like a, just like a old beer. If you touch them, like if you touch the phone there. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it does look like typical beer anyway.
Oh yeah, see how it tastes. Oh, this is a, a good taste uh, for sure. This is a good tasting beer. For super premium, like 7.3% alcohol by volume. Puts it like uh, around the same range as say malt liquors. Like say typical ice beers would be like say 5.9% by volume. Like Keystone Ice, Natural Ice are at that, that range. Milwaukee's best ice now is probably more potent than 6.9%. This like 7.3% alcohol by volume puts it much, uh, say higher, like say closer to uh, craft beer ranges. But uh, it's a very good taste. In fact, if you're in any bar or liquor store or place or any establishment, so if you're in any, any establishment anywhere in this country that sells Molson Triple X, buy it. This is a good beer. And if you and if you write that disclaimer, no, or if, if you actually watch that disclaimer I uh, put out before the taste, you understand. So it is super premium. It says no preservatives. So interesting now that now wireless beer distributors do sell beers in individual servings, which is good. And I just saw that, and when I saw this, this was like opportunity. But for the money I spent, for the for the money I spent, it's definitely a good uh, definitely get a good video out of it. So. Well, at least it's mine well spent. Other than that, here's a nice, good, drink-related video.